Within a seven-day period, Nathaniel became the sire of a French Classic winner, a Royal Ascot winner, and had won two in the Czech Derby. We also know Nathaniel as the sire of Enable, the mighty race mare who has won the Prix d'Arc de Triomphe twice and heads there for the third time later this year. Nathaniel stands at New Sales Park Stud and Julian Dollar tells us about the recent run of successes Nathaniel has been having. Well, his first crop of five-year-olds now. So he's had, um, obviously, Enable from his first crop and then subsequently from his latest classic crop, he had Channel, who recently won the French Oaks. She looks like a filly that's really on the improve. I was very hopeful that she, she'd run a big race in the Oaks, but I wasn't, I wasn't um, dreaming that she'd win, but it was great that she did. She quickened well and she deserved it, so that was, that was great. But she's, she's definitely a filly that you think would, would improve from now on. Dashing Willoughby, he was bred by Mion Valley, who've had a great, great 2019 so far. Again, he's a horse that showed a lot last year as a two-year-old, which is unusual perhaps for Nathaniels. They're not particularly precocious, but they come to hand fairly quickly as three-year-olds, like he himself did. And um, he showed a lot last year, and he showed plenty this year, so um, we were hopeful that he was a group horse. To win the Quinns of Ours is a tough race, and made even tougher on, on, on Wednesday because of all the rain they'd had. But um, I suppose Nathaniel liked it with a bit of cut in the ground and his progeny are often the same. Being the sire of Enable is, is pretty special, especially when it comes with the first crop. Um, you know, as I said earlier, it doesn't happen without the support of great breeders and they don't come much better than Judmont Farms. But, um, you know, for him to be able to, to produce a filly who's arguably the best horse in training for the last three years is very exciting for us. I think I'm right in thinking that the trainer and the connections only have one race in mind for this year, and that's to try and win the arc for the third successive year. So I think all roads lead there. His horses come to hand very early as three-year-olds. They're, they're running in classic trials. They're running in the Oaks and the Derby. Um, and I think that's, that's uh, important to, to note. He's not a horse that you're gonna have to wait forever with, but I think that he's not a horse, that they're progeny probably not horses you can push too early as two-year-olds. There's no doubt in my mind that he's, he's proving to be a very successful sire. It's just whether he's considered fashionable in these days of speed. Um, but when you get to this time of year and you're, you know, you've got Oaks and Derbies and Royal Ascot and you see these sort of horses coming to the fore, you sort of think this is what it's all about. You know, it's not all about speed, 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 you know. Of course I'm going to say that because we stand a horse like Nathaniel, but I hope that we don't, we don't go away from, from these classic sires too much because I really don't think it'll be great for the breed. I hope we don't lose what we what we were what we're really good at. Yeah.